The fourth edition of Freeze Los Angeles just kicked off the other day. Uh, the fair moved again. Last year it was in Beverly Hills. This year it's in Santa Monica Airport. The fair has two locations. Uh, one is Barca Hangar right behind me. And the second location is just a five minute walk away from here in a tent designed again by Kulapat Yantrasas. And that one we will check out later. By the way, this is Chris Burden's 40 foot skyscraper. A sculpture part of Friezo door projects now playing along with Basil Kincaid's Dancing the Windwalk airplane installation. We'll start with this location where they have up and coming galleries, emerging artists, and the uh, section focus. With over 125 galleries participating in the fair, this is the largest West Coast freeze yet. Because this is a drop off point for the fair, the atmosphere here is energetic. A lot of people came here first, which created a buzz for younger galleries in the focus section, like the Bayard Gallery with ceramic works by Sophie Wolquist. I see a lot of ceramics here this year. Some big galleries have booths here too, like Marianne Boeski with works by Jennifer Bartlett, Fire Series. Bear Gruen Gallery from San Francisco. L.A. Louver is definitely a show-stopping booth presenting thought-provoking works by Ed and Nancy Kinholtz, My Country Tees of Thee, Potlatch, a life-size Native American man with the ceremonial set. Here's Jeff Koons, Gazing Bowl, at Craig's Star Gallery, where the proceeds from the sale go into Art for Justice Fund. You can spend easily here several hours, but I'm on my way to the tent, catching a joyride here in a golf cart. <laughs> Right at the entrance, there is a protest against police violence led by Patrice Cullors, a co-founder of the BLM movement. Her cousin died early this year after he was tasered by police officers. About 25 young men and women are wearing red t-shirts with his name written on them. And by the way, this is not part of the fair. The tent is busy. All mega galleries are here. Gagosian is featuring Rick Lowe. I heard it's completely sold out in the first hours. Here's Anton Kern, a solo artist presentation of works by Brian Calvin. Marianne Goodman. Lison Gallery. Jeffrey Deitch is showcasing Living Room Theatre by Peter Shari. A very colorful booth with sculpture, furniture, ceramics. One of the breakout artists at the fair is Mamali Shafahi at Dastan Gallery with the kinetic sculpture Monkey Fever 01. Within the freeze week, there is a ton of art events happening around the city. Santa Monica Art Museum is celebrating its new space with a group show looking west. I even found a bit of New York here, striking photographs of dancers. Beautiful. And since I'm in LA, I decided to check out the Getty Villa. It's the original space of the J. Paul Getty Museum, located in the Pacific Palisades near Malibu. It's a replica of the Papiri Villa in Herculaneum, which was buried during the Vesuvius eruption. Now it houses a collection of Greek, Roman, and Etruscan antiquities. The villa is open to the public and admission is free. I highly recommend it. From Los Angeles, I'm Jane Greaves. See you soon in Maastricht.